If a child starts to tell you they've been abused, that's known as disclosure, it's very important that you follow the correct steps. It's unlikely that this will happen. Usually, if a child is being abused, they give out more subtle signs trying to indicate to you that something isn't right. It's not often that they come straight out with information and tell you. However, it does happen sometimes. If it does, here are the steps to follow. Listen is the first one, most important. Reassure the child, report it and record it. First step, listen. That is the main job. You need to give full attention to the child and listen well. You need to give full attention when you listen. Do not take notes. Do not show any response on your face, such as shock or disbelief. It isn't your job to decide if what a child is telling you is true or not. Your job is to receive whatever they choose to tell you. Do not ask any leading or direct questions. The only questions you can ask are open questions such as, what do you want to tell me? Or, is there anything else you want to tell me? So you are not leading the child's response in any way. You are giving them an opportunity to tell you whatever they want to tell you. Do not make any comments while they talk. If they start to talk in their own language, do not translate for them. Ask them if they can tell you that in English. And if not, you let them carry on in their own language and in your record, you note that they started to use their own language. That is about listening. Reassuring them. It's important that you can say something to the child to indicate that they're doing the right thing to tell you. You cannot say something like, oh, everything will be all right now, because maybe it won't. However, you can be honest when you say, you've done the right thing to tell me. You also need to explain that you will need to tell somebody else, somebody who can help the child more than you can. Never promise to keep a secret if the child asks you to. Once you've listened and reassured and the talking is stopped, then you must support the child in whatever way is appropriate for the situation. Usually giving them a hug is not right at this time, even if they are emotionally upset. Just help them in other ways. Then report. Immediately contact the designated staff at your ELT organisation and tell them what has happened. Remember, this is confidential information. You can talk about this to the safeguarding staff at your organisation, but you must not talk to anybody else about what the child has told you. Finally, you must record. As soon as you possibly can, jot down or write notes Write them quickly so that you remember as much as possible. Use the words that the child used, as far as you can remember, and write it down in the sequence the child told you, not the sequence of how things happened. You must keep your report factual, no opinions in that. If a child has got some physical marks on their body, for example, if they're telling you they've been hit and they have bruises or marks, do not take photographs, but rather do a body diagram, an outline, and mark on that where the bruises or the marks were. 
ideally, there will be a report form available from your ELT organization. However, even if you're using one of their forms, always keep your original notes because they might be needed later on.